Today's video is going to explain how a network license server installation is set up. One of the advantages of running a network license server is that you can install the application on as many workstations as you want and run up to the allotted number of licenses at any given time. There are three parts to the license server system, the license file or DAT file, the hardware lock if required, and the licensing software, including the ION EXE daemon. The first thing that needs to be done is to determine which of your machines is going to act as the license server and copy the FlexLM package to it. It's best if you create a C FlexLM folder and place the files in there. Next, copy the diffusion.dat or ion.dat to the FlexLM folder. You will need to edit the dat file to reflect the name of the license machine. Open the dat file in any standard text editor and change just the server name portion on the first line to the name of the license server host machine. Any other changes made to the file can invalidate it. Insert the dongle into your machine and make sure that it has lit up with the red LED. If it hasn't, please see our support page for a link to the hardware drivers for the dongle. Next, open the LM Tools utility and select the Config Services tab. Here we will set up the Ion License Server service and configure it to run every time the machine starts. First, let's name the service to something recognizable. So Ion or Fusion would work well in this instance. Next is to browse to the LMGRD file located in the C FlexLM folder and the diffusion.dat file we edited earlier. Finally, a log file name is needed to output a log file for troubleshooting purposes. Be sure to check on the Use Services and then the Start Server at Power Up boxes. Now click on the Save Service button. Now we need to start the service and ensure that it's working as expected. Switch over to the Start Stop Reread tab and select the Ion Fusion service from the list. Now select the Start Server button. You should see that the server has started successfully. If not, please contact technical support via email and send the log file that was configured in the previous step. Finally, before we can launch Fusion or other ION products on our workstation, we need to configure the license system to look at the license server on your network. We do this by entering an environment variable. On the workstation, right-click on the My Computer icon and choose Properties. Choose the Advanced tab or text depending on your OS and select Environment Variables. I recommend setting the license path as a system variable rather than a user variable for a single user. Click on the New button under the System Variables area and enter the string ION underscore license underscore file in the variable Name field and at your server name, semicolon, in the variable value field. You will need to back out of the environment variables by clicking OK and OK again before you can attempt to run Fusion. Once the system has set the license path, try to launch the software. At this time, you should see that the software starts and the interface will fully open, ready for you to use. If you find you get an error about a license file not found, please send technical support a copy of the error text contained in the dialog box, including the additional text when hitting the More button. You should now be able to set up any remaining workstations the same as this and run your applications when needed. Join us again soon for another Fusion video.